Welcome back to Snowball AI. In today's video, we're diving deep into the latest Photoshop updates. I'll try out some of the new features by creating entirely new images and stories. Adobe gives us access to AI tools inside of Photoshop and Adobe Premiere, which is a game changer and will only get better. We can generate images inside of Photoshop now using the Firefly Image 3 model, which is Adobe's latest AI model for creating images based on your description or reference image. Here is an image of a leaf. We can select any part of this image and click on this button at the bottom saying generative fill and just click on generate. Now we have three variations to choose from which was made by the AI. Now the possibilities are endless. Let's have some fun and add a snail. Roughly select an area, go to the toolbar and write snail. Again we get three variations. They all look great with the correct lighting and shadows. I'll choose this one here and now let's add some elements to create a world for our snail. Let's add a tiny apple here somewhere. Remember to write a short description of what you want to generate. Here I wrote tiny apple and got this. Let's add a cozy house made of sticks and berries. Lastly we'll finish it off with a football goal post in the backyard. There we go, now this looks great. This is a game changer when creating illustrations. There is also another new feature called generate similar. In this example, I want to add some white towels over here. I create a rough selection and write a basket filled with white towels. But I am not happy with these and I want it to be more cartoony and in the same style as the rest of our illustration. So I come down here and click on this option button on the variation that I like. This will use our basket as a reference and generate new similar ones. And there we go. This looks much better. It's not only the towels, this entire image has been generated by AI. Let me show you quickly how I did it. I started by generating a background and adding a character that I made with Midjourney. I replaced the windows with a more colorful one. I added a shadow to our character to merge it in the background and added some fun items. I added a sports bag with hockey sticks and a basket with towels. I even added a towel on the table. Now, before I move on to the next part, if you have ever used a towel, make sure you subscribe to this channel now. Of course you can create better illustrations than this, but just look at how fast we created this with the help of AI. It has never been easier to learn a new skill. If you're interested in learning Photoshop, I have a guide on learning Photoshop for beginners while creating characters and stories at the same time. It's a fun way to learn Photoshop. Before I move on and create more illustrations with this character, let's switch it to something more realistic and use the new reference feature. Here is an image of an apple. Now we can add a butterfly to it by selecting something like this and write butterfly on the apple. Now we got these butterflies which look good but what if we want something more colorful. So what we could do is add a reference image of a butterfly we like and use the same prompt as before. Just click this button here, choose your image and generate. Now we got these results instead. That's a really helpful feature which will definitely make things easier. Another thing I want to mention is the upscale button here. Now you're able to upscale the images you generate. It basically makes the quality of your generations a little better. Here the pattern of the wings look a little more crisp after the upscale. Speaking of upscale and improvements, I want to thank today's sponsor Portrait Me, which is an app that helps you create different portraits of yourself using AI. Maybe you don't have access to a professional photographer or don't want to waste money on that. Portrait Me offers a free at home alternative. And this app is truly free, including all of its functionalities so there is no extra feature that hides behind the payment. There are hundreds of different styles, poses and environments to choose from. If you're like me and do not have any good portraits wearing a suit maybe, now you can choose one of your best looking images and use this tool here to create an image for your LinkedIn profile or maybe next job application. I played around with it and generated some great portraits, like this one here that I turned into this or this one here. As I mentioned, it's entirely free to download and use on both iOS and Android. There's also a paid plan if you want to experience the app without any ads. Now let's jump right back to our hockey player. And this time let's say we want to create a cover for our story. I start by picking one of the poses from our character sheet. I write the title, I love hockey and we'll get back to it later. Another great new feature is the new fonts that can be used inside of Photoshop. You don't need to search for fonts and download them manually anymore. I didn't have this font 
want but I could use it in real time while editing the image and it downloaded it for me in the background. Now let's start adding one thing at a time until we are satisfied. Let's create a selection like this and add a hockey puck. I'm resizing it until it looks right. Let's select this part and add some ice beneath it. I am adding a hockey stick by creating a selection like this and writing hockey stick. I'll choose this one and we're going to expand the image with generative fill later so we can see the bottom part of the stick as well. Let's select this part and add some ice beneath it. For the prompt I wrote ice hockey ice and got this one here that I like. Now let's select the background and create the stadium. I wrote a long prompt and got these results which is perfect for this cover and looks like something from Captain Tsubasa. Write something in the comments if you've heard about this show before, also known as Captain Magic in Middle East. I removed the white background from the puck and the stick. It's because we generated this when the background was still white. I'll just pick the brush and paint with a darker shade underneath the ice skates and the puck. I focused on the title again and tried a bright blue color. I like Photoshop because it gives you total control. The top part seems a bit empty so let's add some happy clouds there and see how it turns out. I like this one and it looks great with the title. Let's finish it off by adding a logo down here and expand the image so we see more of the bottom part of the image. I merged all the layers, resized it and filled the rest with generative fill. Let's choose the one we like. This looks great except for the stick. Let's just change the head of the stick in the same way. A rough selection is all you need. There we go. It even added the shadow underneath. Now watch this fast forward video where I create a goat while I simultaneously remind you to subscribe to this channel one last time. This character was generated by Midjourney so I thought I would create an image of a goat in a club by only using the generative field feature inside of Photoshop. And there you go. Thank you for watching guys, bye bye.